Hello, welcome back to my channel. We continue to review the textbook, Construction Materials, Methods, and Techniques, Building for a Sustainable Future. This video is about chapter nine, and that is all about precast concrete. So what we'll do today is we'll describe and identify the major types of precast concrete units, then we'll explain how precast concrete units are manufactured. Um, also, we'll see the advantages and limitations of using precast concrete. Uh, we'll take a look at the differences between pre-stressed and non-pre-stressed precast concrete units, uh, and also the difference between pre-tension and post-tension structural concrete units. Then we will <clears throat> excuse me, describe the various types of precast concrete slab units and their applications, as well as uh, we'll list standard type sizes of precast concrete columns, beams, girders, and wall panels. And um, there um, is going to be a little discussion about the procedure for erecting precast concrete units and the types of connections used. Uh, and this chapter is connected to chapter 12. So please stay tuned. Um, there is a video about chapter 12, that's concrete masonry. So that is uh, connected to our um, today's conversation. So uh, there are a few advantages of precast uh, concrete units and um, those are uh, of course reduced um, time that is required on site. Then it is uh, usually uh, there is a standard. So there is um, a regulation and the standard for the concrete and usually it's uh, precast and the control temperature, so you can always guarantee the result. Um, and um, as far as the building codes, um, they have extensive specifications pertaining to the design and installation of precast concrete members and always follow the most stringent code. Um, so um, let's talk a little bit about the pre-stressing precast concrete. There are pre-stressed units and non-pre-stressed units. And please uh, take a look at all the images here. Um, there are beautiful sections that you need to be aware of and see how the load is applied and see how the member reacts to that. Um, when we talk about pre-tensioned units, um, that is, um, uh, the, the concrete is um, reinforced before the wet concrete is poured. So still um, reinforcing intention is placed there. Uh, also post-tensioned units and that uh, the, the post-tensioning applies stresses to the concrete unit after it has been cast and hardened. Uh, please review all the charts here. This is critically important for your understanding. And we're moving to the precast concrete slabs because this subchapter is talking about the precast concrete elements. So there are a few different ones and uh, there is a double T, single T, tongue and groove, plank, hollow core slab, channel, and solid flat slab, for example. Uh, there are other variations, but these are just the basic ones. Um, then when uh, we talk about other elements, there are precast concrete columns, beams and girders. And again, there are typical uh, beams shown here. You can um, see all the images and this is important to always review them. And uh, also there are precast concrete wall panels. Um, so when we connect the precast units, there are a few different types of connections. So the connections can be welded. Uh, the 
uh, grouts and mortars are uh, used to transfer loads between members and to fill non-critical voids. And um, there are a few connection details here. There is a section here, so please definitely review this. And um, again, vid my, my videos are just like a high level overview of the chapter. Um, so when you erect the precast concrete members, you need to plan accordingly because those are very heavy elements, as you can imagine. Um, and you need to uh, just prepare the crane road and just make sure that you have access uh, to the panels and to the building and you can uh, actually maneuver all those members. And also the transportation to the site is important. Like you cannot uh, pour um, the element that is too big and you won't be able to transport it. So please uh, verify the truck uh, capabilities, the tonnage, and um, also the width and um, the height of the, uh, the, the allowed clearance of the bridges that that truck is going to pass to your construction site. Uh, so again, a few framing plans here, some sections, some um, isometric drawings showing um, more elements. And um, yeah, so basically that was it for our chapter nine. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in chapter 10.